I really, really, really want to taste this. Ah, let me go get a spoon. I'll be back shortly. Hey, I'm back and I've got my trusty little spoon. It's a little sweet, a little sour, it's a little salty, it's a little spicy. It's everything a Thai salad is supposed to be. Today I'm really excited to show you Ta-da! This is my pomelo salad Ta-da! Okay, what is pomelo? Okay, some of you may not know what pomelo is because you may not have it in your country but I have one pomelo here, look! Oh, look at it against the size of my face <laughs> Anyway, this is a pomelo and it tastes a little bit like ripe grapefruit. The flesh comes in two colors. One is actually the white type, which is what I have right now. And the other one is the pink one. I personally would prefer the pink one, but it's not in season yet. And that would take a few more weeks before it's in season. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's still pomelo. I still like pomelo. Anyway, I have a very nice salad to share with you. So pomelo salad is something that the Thais usually savor. Growing up in Southeast Asia, there's a lot of different types of cuisine. I used to travel quite a bit as well. Um, so basically, this is something that I would personally order every time I go to my favorite Thai restaurant here in town. But you know what? There's still pandemic going around so I'm not going out. I made my own since pomelo is now in season. Anyway, how do you choose a pomelo? First of all, it doesn't matter whether the outer side is pretty or not. See, it has different marks here and stuff, but it doesn't matter because I know this is a sweeter one and it's very heavy, so it's juicy. So you want to choose something that has more yellow color already so that you know that that is already almost ripe. It's not 100% ripe. I'm going to keep this guy for another week before I eat it. But I just want to show you, this one is so much heavier than the one that I have used for this vlog. So basically, it's better to choose something that is heavier so that there's more water content in there and it's not so dry, okay? Just like how you choose a grapefruit, always look for one that has a rounder shape if it's available, if it's not then look for something that is heavier, okay? Always go for heavier. It really doesn't matter whether outside is pretty or not. What you should worry about is the content of this little guy, okay? Anyway, if you're here for the first time, please click the subscribe button below so that each time I upload a new vlog, you'll be notified. And if you don't hate this video, please give me a thumbs up or two thumbs up. <laughs> And I'll see you in my next vlog. Ciao! First things first, these are all the ingredients we need. 
I've omitted some items that I personally don't fancy and I've substituted them with other items and also there are a few ingredients that I have not included in here because I really really don't like them anyway this is my version of the Thai pomelo salad What we're gonna do is put it on sideways and then we're gonna chop off the head and we're gonna slice the side a few times, a few ways so that it's easier to tear the skin off. The skin is actually very thick and this particular baby has very thick skin <laughs> after slicing the sides six ways I just made a few light marks at the top so that it's easier for me to peel open the thick layer and here goes look at the skin <laughs> I don't mean to be rude but I think this baby has a very very thick armor <laughs> and now we have unraveled the inner white layer of the skin so like grapefruit or oranges or lemon this layer is really bitter so please make sure you remove it yeah be very careful when you're removing the white skin with the knife you can always use a pair of scissors for safety and don't forget to taste the fruit it's a little citrusy a little sweet this dish really helps build an appetite and now i'm gonna add the cashew nuts and the fried anchovies into a large granite mortar and pestle do you know pounding them using a mortar and pestle has been dated back to 6,000 years ago is stone age <laughs> anyway this technique is awesome and I'm gonna brown them until it's fragrant and the color turns the shade darker and then I'm gonna slice the calamansi into half and remove all the seeds that's a lot of seeds for three calamansis. They're tiny, but so many seeds. And then I'm going to slice lemongrass, onions, and chilies into tiny little pieces. And then we're going to squeeze the calamansi juice into the other ingredients and mix them well, adding a little bit of sugar. And if you don't have brown sugar, you can always use white sugar, add to taste, depending on your taste buds. And also, don't forget, it also depends on whether or not your fruit is sweet or is it citrusy. Then I'm gonna add in the anchovy sauce and mix them well. And then I will add in the rest of the sugar after tasting it off camera <laughs> it makes it melt well and then I put in the fruit and then adding the last of the anchovies and also nut and then I'm just gonna mix them all together until every little bit of it has all the ingredients you're gonna taste it so this is the moment of truth is the taste test okay basically I'm gonna take this little bite mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's a little sweet, a little sour, it's a little salty, it's a little spicy. It's everything a pie salad is supposed to be. Thanks for watching and see you in my next vlog.